Okay, so uh, another day at uh, Stag Classics. This is Nigel, and um, we've actually seen Nigel's Triumph Stag before, a few weeks ago, I think when we came up, um, probably back in February or March time, and it was a bit of a murky day then, but it's a lot nicer now. Yeah. So uh, Nigel's got a really nice, uh, what colour is it, blue? Delft uh, blue. Delft blue, Delft blue stag. Um, a rolling restoration, but perhaps you can just talk us a little bit through about what you're up to with it, and that'll be, yeah, that'll sure. be great. Sure, so it's, it's been off the road for six years. Yeah. And, um, in the last uh, last year, been really trying to get it back on, on track again. Yeah. Okay. So we've uh, had a, a neighbour help me do one side of the uh, one side of the car, which yeah. involved out, outside out the sills, new box sills. Okay. And um, well various done. other bits and pieces, and then recently uh, changed a lot of the panel work on on the driver's side. Okay. Um, and then it came to the mechanics. And, uh, Fantastic. Uh, not being able to see. Brown, the chap that used to look after the car, yes. in Hedge End in Southampton many years ago. Yeah, okay. Uh, Paul, uh, Paul was found on the internet. And, right, uh, and, and you haven't looked back since. No, <laughs> and so, so far I've had a, an engine and I hear you're having yes. one. Yes, I'm looking forward to this. The engine yes. is on, on the bed and it apparently is ready to run. Yeah, I haven't so heard Paul, it for about Paul's 10 been years. excellent in, in, yeah. in making, making it just so. He's a really good guy. He's he very, is. Very yeah. good. We can't uh, so recommend him highly enough. Very, few, very uh, ladies, if, you, if you ever get the chance. Yeah. Um, but uh, OK, so let's have a quick look at the uh, Delft Blue Stag. <laughs> All right, so this is the, uh, the Delft Blue Stag. Um, as you can see, um, it is work in progress. Uh, the bodywork's looking really good. Uh, you'll remember with our UNY49M, we had massive problems with the sill at the, uh, at the bottom on this side. And um, likewise, Nigel's saying similar kind of challenges, uh, but that's now resolved. Nigel, yeah, you pretty much yes, sorted. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, uh, put new sills on, that's all, all sorted. All done. All it's not an fine. easy job that because there's, there's so many touch points um, to, to make sure it fits properly and looks right. Um, there's quite a technique to do that. But uh, again, lovely colour, isn't it? That, uh, that Delft blue and uh, looking really good on a day like today. The uh, kind of biscuit interior sets it off really nicely. And uh, what's the best bit about the interior, do you say, Nigel? Uh, the best bit will be when it's all thrown away and <laughs> Okay. The fair. only bit that's reasonable is a new foam on the passenger seat, which I actually did myself. Oh, well done. Really good man. Good man. Yeah. Um, okay. It's all time, isn't it? That's a trouble. I really uh, should, uh, yeah. should have changed the, the seat cover, but that will come. Yeah. Okay. So when will you get that done, do you think? I think it'll probably be ready for next spring. Okay. It's a kind of winter job and yeah, whatever. So yeah. We'll, we'll have the spraying and the body. Yeah. Body colour sorted out uh, before yeah. the end of this year and then yeah. interior for next spring. Right, superb and um, it's looking a really nice nice car as a chrome all up together and uh, tyres looking good, the wheels look good as well. Have you had those done as well, are no. you? No? Apart from elbow grease and some metal polish. Good man, yeah, very tidy. Yeah, excellent. And uh, wing mirrors appropriately placed uh, such that you can actually open the uh, the little the little tiddly window there so so many cars you see of the day harry's mgb gt being the same you can't actually open the quarter lights because someone's put a mirror across the front of it which uh, is bad uh, bad planning but there we are obviously uh, this is the red oxide here um keeps the rust off it's i mean you know it's up together which is fantastic Just isn't it? Time. yeah too right and again under the bonnet uh looking once more very very smart uh very clean very tidy what was the last thing you had done on this then? Paul did the whole engine about 700 miles ago. Yeah. A month or so ago. Okay. Um, no problem since. Uh, expect to do those radiator hoses because the uh, bottom hose is not in best condition. But, no. Uh, we'll, we'll get that done. We'll soon. get that done. Yeah. Yeah. But apart from that, it's been very, very good ever since Paul's uh, put the he, engine he, back he in. He does his magic. Um, we saw yeah. last weekend, just as a top tip, and I won't repeat myself at Beauty, but um, on here on this. Uh, yes, boot I did see this. release. I thought that was a blinking good idea. We had a guy with a Barry, his name was, had a wire that came through here to the wheel arch, and yeah. you could pull it open if ever that Bowden cable got uh, snapped, which yeah. I hear does happen on occasion. So even uh, even the, even the more modern cars have similar issues. Porsche yeah. Boxster. Okay, really. Same thing. Had Same an thing. electronic release. Yeah. But um, the electronic release, you were able to do a, a little short circuit with the 12 volts and uh, open uh, it up with a battery. All right. Okay. So there are ways around it, but uh, uh, it's. No, no, well that's true, yeah. So, no. Again, okay, nice steering wheel in there, Nigel, looks really good. Um, auto as well, you get on with the auto well? Um, yes, it's, it's fine. Um, yeah. Obviously, just revs like the one of the BW. Yeah. BWs do in them. Yeah. Um, not quite sure whether I'll take the big 
the deep dive into the Jag gearbox. In, okay, this is the... Uh, about those. Yeah, it's a few thousand probably to do that, isn't it? it is, um, yeah. It's supposed to transform the driving experience, but trade-off here is how much extra driving experience do you want, you know? Yeah, um, less but, stress on the, on the car. Yes. It sounds sensible to me. It does, yeah, yeah. 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 But, uh, okay, good. So Nigel's just jumping in to his uh, lovely stag is going to fire up the engine just to here. Yeah, beautiful again, isn't it lovely? Purring like a cat. Absolutely brilliant. Go around to the back, here's the exhaust, it's that burble at the back. <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> That's what Arida Stag is all about, guys. That V8 burble and the proud owners that drive them and keep them on the road and Nigel's done a fantastic job. Well done, Nigel, great to see. Good, okay, Nigel, well, it's been an absolute um, privilege to, to see your stag. You too. First and <laughs> second hand now, because we saw it earlier in the year, as you know, so, uh, and to show us around. So good luck with the project, we'll obviously keep tabs on how things are going i'm sure we'll be back at paul's uh, stag classics uh, mm. club it's, it's like a it, social club here. It is every it really Saturday is. Morning, yeah. so uh, if you're ever down this way guys pop in because um number of people here having fun with stags is just amazing mm. uh, as you know Ari the stag is very very uh, proud to present uh, those that show us their stags with uh, a privileged and very few people have this <laughs> Nigel we have a wow. Ari the stag bobble at um, <laughs> so wear it with pride that's Thank for you, you. Very much, so wear proudly uh, around and uh, appreciate it's getting towards summer now but nevertheless it's uh, good to have around <laughs> Still but uh, congratulations thank you very much indeed thank you Tony. all the best <laughs> cheers now all right guys so that was uh, Nigel stag and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you online on Ari the stag very soon. Cheers for now. <laughs> <laughs>